Is Portugal heading towards political instability? The March general elections did not result in a majority government. The centre-right Democratic Alliance, or the AD, though a must winner with most votes, it seems that its minority government won't be able to function. The fractured Portuguese parliament has failed to elect a speaker as it met for the first time after the polls. Now, after the narrow win, Prime Minister Louis Montenegro's party could not achieve the 116 votes it needs to see its candidate, Branco, as elected speaker. With 80 seats, AD is the largest in parliament, but it needs support of the runner-up in elections far-right Chega party to form a majority government. However, this is something AD Premier has ruled out. Just on Monday, in a surprising move, Chega leadership said that it would vote for the AD candidate. However, the Tuesday result clearly showed that the party backtracked from its promise. And many of its 50 MPs did not vote for the rival candidate. In fact, after this, the Chega and the second runner-up in elections, Social Democratic Party, proposed their own candidates. The parliament held a second round of voting to choose between the three. None of the candidates received sufficient ballots to be nominated and lawmakers had to vote a third time but then again failed to elect parliamentary speaker. Analysts in Portugal say if AD runs a minority government, the country will be headed for political instability. It will become dependent on far-right party Chega, which has increased its parliamentary representations four times after this year's polls. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.